Is your check ride just around the corner? If so, you're probably wondering what questions your examiner will ask you. Spoiler alert, your examiner will absolutely ask you about the topics we're covering today. Knowing these can make all the difference between you passing this portion of your check ride with ease or really struggling through. I remember my first check ride, and honestly, every check ride since then. It can feel really intimidating not knowing what to expect. But with the right preparation, you will walk into that room confidently, ready to show what you know. We're gonna cover three weather topics that without a shadow of a doubt will come up on your check ride. And by the end, you will have a solid foundation to really impress your examiner. Let's start with surface analysis charts. These charts are essential for understanding the big picture of current weather systems. The surface analysis chart is available anywhere you can obtain an FAA approved weather briefing. So what do you need to know? Surface analysis charts are updated every three hours. These charts provide depictions of frontal systems and pressure systems. Frontal systems would include cold fronts, warm fronts, stationary fronts, occluded fronts, and all the lesser versions of those which are called frontalysis. Pressure systems include high pressure systems, low pressure, troughs. We also get isobars which depict pressure gradients. Some things may be shown on the chart but they only come up occasionally. This would include things like squall lines and outflow boundaries. The reason why your examiner is gonna ask about surface analysis charts is not because he cares that you know that a blue line with triangles is a cold front. The heart of the matter is do you know what kind of weather is associated with each of these depictions? And further, do you know how to make safe decisions based off of that? For example, are you flying toward a cold front which could be creating unstable weather? Are you going into the heart of a low pressure system where convective activity is taking place? Will you adjust your route, delay your departure, or make a no-go decision? If you don't feel like you know enough about surface analysis charts, there are some great resources to help you out. First of which would be the Aviation Weather Handbook, which is published by the FAA. The next is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's online courses called JetStream. If you're interested in aviation weather resources, you can check out this video here about three weather resources you may not have heard of. Understanding surface analysis charts, what they depict, and how to make decisions with those depictions is really what the examiner is gonna test you on. This information will not just help you pass your check ride, but it'll help you make more safe and informed decisions once you are a certificated pilot. Next, we're gonna talk about AirMets and SigMets, two weather advisory products that you have to know for your check ride. Both of these weather products are available anywhere you obtain your FAA approved weather briefing. So let's do an overview of AirMets. AirMets are valid for six hours. They cover areas of at least 3,000 square miles. There are three main types of AirMets. The first is an AirMet Sierra. I remember this because you cannot see. Airbed Sierras are issued for IFR conditions and mountain obscuration. The next are Airmet Zulus. These are issued for icing conditions. I remember this because Airmet Zulu is for freezing. Icing conditions are where there is visible moisture and temperatures near or below freezing. We also have Airmet Tangos. These are issued for turbulence, both low and high, low level wind shear, and sustained surface winds of 30 knots or greater. You will also be asked about SIGMETs on your check ride. SIGMETs are issued for severe conditions that affect all aircraft. They're typically valid for four hours. They're issued for such conditions like severe turbulence, volcanic ash, severe icing, and convective activity. Understanding these advisories is not just about knowing what they mean, but just like the surface analysis chart, how are you gonna make decisions based off of the presence of these advisories? Are you willing to fly into an area with moderate turbulence or icing? Will you go, delay, change your route, or stay on the ground? If you aren't sure if you're ready for your check ride, I do have a check ride weather knowledge quiz you can check out on my website, gilbertaviation.com. This will test your knowledge on some standard weather topics that the examiner might ask you. There's 10 questions and the results will help you understand where you have holes that you might need to fill in some information. Finally, the last topic that will absolutely be on your check ride is thunderstorms. Every pilot needs to understand the theory about how they develop 
and the danger that they pose. So some thunderstorm basics. The first is there's three key ingredients for a thunderstorm to form. That is sufficient moisture, unstable lapse rate, and lifting action. There are also three stages of a thunderstorm. That is cumulus, mature, and dissipating. Overall, the hazards of a thunderstorm include severe turbulence, lightning, hail, icing conditions, tornadoes, wind shear, microbursts, and more. So how do we make decisions with this information? Well, the FAA suggests maintaining at least 20 nautical miles away from a thunderstorm. However, because thunderstorms can have extensive vertical development, and the higher the vertical development, the more energy within that system, you should consider remaining at least 10 nautical miles away for every 10,000 feet of vertical development. Ultimately, your examiner is going to want to know that you understand how thunderstorms form and the hazards that they pose to you as a general aviation pilot. The next step is assessing your ability to make smart decisions based on the presence of thunderstorms. Are you willing to fly into an area where thunderstorms are actively developing or dissipating? On top of helping you pass your check ride, knowing how thunderstorms work and being able to identify their hazards will help you make more informed and safe decisions as you fly. This is the kind of knowledge that turns you into a truly confident pilot. So these are just a few of the weather essentials that you absolutely will be assessed on on your check ride. Mastering these will give you a really solid foundation. Remember that your examiner asks these not just to check the boxes for the exam, but to assess your knowledge, skills, and ability as a pilot. Airplanes. I'm at the airport. If you demonstrate solid knowledge and sound decision making, your examiner will have all the confidence that you can go out into the real world and make good decisions. If you wanna make sure you're ready for your upcoming check ride, remember that weather knowledge quiz at gilbertaviation.com. It's a quick way to assess your knowledge and see that you're ready to pass your check ride on the first time. If these videos are helping you on your journey to become a more safe pilot, consider supporting the channel at Patreon. Your support helps me continue to provide valuable content to pilots like you. Today, we talked about service analysis charts, air mets and sig mets, and thunderstorms. Three weather topics you absolutely must know for your check ride. Remember that the check ride doesn't have to be intimidating. With the right preparation and a solid foundation of weather knowledge, you will walk in feeling confident and ready to succeed. If this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe, like, ring the bell, and leave a comment with any check ride questions you're preparing for. I'd love to help. You.